Okay, let's look at another example. Uh, this one here, 17.32 megapascals and 440 Celsius. So, as usual, let's start by drawing a TV diagram. Oops. First thing that we need to do, as usual, is decide if we have compressed liquid, saturated water, or superheated vapour, or if we're on one of the boundaries, the saturated liquid line maybe, or the saturated uh, vapour line. Let's go to our tables. Uh, we go to the saturated water table, we're at, uh, what are we at, 17.32 megapascals and 440 Celsius. Now, 440 Celsius is greater than the critical uh, temperature for water, which is 374, so the saturated water temperature table doesn't help us there. Let's take a look at the saturated water pressure table. 17 megapascals is 170 bar, so we are between uh, these two levels. Our saturation temperature is between 352 and 357 degrees Celsius. Uh, we are well and truly above saturation temperature at 440 degrees we're well above saturation temperature so let's represent that on the TV diagram just to make it absolutely clear so there is a constant pressure curve for 17.32 megapascals that's quite a high pressure uh, the saturation temperature at that pressure is around about 352 to 357 so it's about 353 let's call it 353 uh, we are actually at a temperature of 440 Celsius which is actually above the critical point above the peak of the dome so we're out here so we must be superheated vapor okay Right, so having established that, let's uh, write that down properly. Uh, so what we can say is that uh, our temperature is greater than saturation temperature at 17.32 megapascals. And that implies that we have superheated vapour. Now, so now that we know that, we can go to the superheated vapour tables. We have a known pressure and a known temperature, which makes things relatively straightforward. We're looking for 17 megapascals. We're looking for 17.32 megapascals, which of course uh, there isn't going to be a table that corresponds exactly to that value. So we're going to be interpolating between these two tables, 16 and 18 megapascals. Uh, and as luck would have it, there is an entry for exactly 440 degrees Celsius. So we're interpolating between 3103.7 kilojoules per kilogram at 16 megapascals and 3062.8 at the higher pressure. Uh, so, okay, so let's compute our fraction uh, in terms of pressure. 17.32, sorry. 0.32 over 18.0 minus 16.0 is 1.32 over 2. Well, I didn't need the calculator to do that really. So that is. Um, Six, six. That's so our pressure is 66% of the way between our two uh, tabulated pressures. Uh, our enthalpy therefore is the enthalpy at 16 megapascals, 3103.7. Two point eight minus 
minus 3103.7 and that is Seven six. That looks about right. Six point seven kilojoules per kilogram, and that is our uh, answer. Okay.